First, you're going to have to complete two workouts every day, 45 minutes each, and they need to be at least three hours apart. One of the workouts, 45 minutes, has to be outside, and the other 45 minute workout can be inside or outside. It's your choice. Your workout outside can be walking, stretching. Your workouts have to be intentional in order to count. You're going to have to take a daily progress picture of yourself every day, every day for 75 days. You're also going to have to drink a gallon of water. It has to be just water, H2O. It can't be anything with flavoring in it. It just has to be natural water. The next step you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to read a self-development book. It could be a book of your choosing. It just has to help you be better. You're gonna have to follow a diet. It doesn't give you a specific diet, but it has to be a diet that you have to follow. It could be being vegan, keto, whatever it is you choose. For me, I chose to be at a calorie deficit and I have my grams of protein that I have to hit, carbs and fats that I can't go over. So I have to stick to that. And the other thing you have to do is absolutely no alcohol, no red wine, nothing, and no cheat meals. And what classifies as a cheat meal is anything outside of your diet. Let's say that you have enough calories to fit in a slice of chocolate cake. Well, as long as it falls within your diet requirements then you're allowed to have that piece of chocolate cake but if you're you've already met your carbs your protein and your calorie intake and you're done that's all you have for the day you can't have that slice of cake basically because that would classify as a cheat meal you went over during the first week what i found to be really really helpful especially with the eating portion of it you should buy a scale it tracks your grams you can weigh your grams ounces and milliliters i bought it off of amazon it was definitely worth the investment i can put a link on it at the bottom you should get a water bottle this is an easy way for you to track how much water you've drank throughout the day i know that after i drink two of these my gallon of water is done for the day protein powder is definitely a lifesaver for me. I struggle to get my protein in for the day, so I know if I take a scoop of this, that'll definitely help me out. I would also recommend that you have at least three books picked out that you are going to read for your 75 Hard Challenge. I think it's a lot easier if you already have the book set aside. Download the app. I strongly encourage you to do it. It's an easy way for you to keep your photos if you don't want shirtless pictures of you in your phone that's a good way to keep track of those photos it's available on google play and apple something that i found out today that i'm going to do for the rest of the challenge is on the calendar on iphone you're able to plan out an event so i scheduled my outdoor workout for 45 minutes and my indoor workout for 45 minutes i have it on repeat until the end of my 75 hard challenge and the perk about this is I know that every day I look at my planner, it's scheduled on there and I'm able to move around the event as my day changes. So I can post a picture right here of my day and you're able to see how I'm able to just shuffle it around. That's been helpful to make sure that I'm able to squeeze those two workouts in and have them be three hours apart. Because if they're not three hours apart, they don't count. Get your seven hours of sleep at least more if possible since you're going straight with no rest days basically your body needs time to recuperate and that happens when you're sleeping a lot of your gains they are made while you're sleeping so make sure you put in sleep i would honestly say if you're unable to get your seven hours of sleep you should probably hold off on the challenge things that i did not expect to happen i got a flat tire and that showed me that a lot of what 75 hard is is definitely just making sure that you are committed to what you're doing each and every day when i got my flat tire i felt like my whole day was just ruined i had it all planned out on when i was supposed to do my workouts run my errands go to work and study and that basically threw everything out of the way and i had to figure out what i was going to prioritize uh, if you're thinking about making the challenge um definitely take some days aside to start incorporating the things little by little that's what i did uh, i started with a half hour walking around outside and making sure that i was squeezing that in and it didn't feel as hard because i was already getting my body slowly adjusted to walking around for half an hour uh, another thing that I would suggest is to just make sure that you remember that you're doing this for you, for a better you. Ultimately, your health is important, your physical health is important, and your mental health is important too. So reading is really good for you. Um, drinking a gallon of water, that's all really, really good for you. So all of these concepts are things that are going to help you not just 
physically, but I think mentally too. So I'm excited for how this challenge goes.